気展開。無料空所。Oh, I know the any creatures up here. You really try to attack me, bro. Thinking I won't really put this pressure on you, bro. I did. And I only came here because dude was like, there's some kind of place over here that's, uh, that has... What's it called? Uh, should we be worried about those things? What things? How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good jerk, local wildlife will only attack while I'm in the defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack reason. If they're attacking, what does it matter? It matters. <laughs> it's As I gather, yours can't. Mm -hmm. That thing shouldn't. Looks like, but definitely an older. Way back when they were duking it out with the Republic. Hard to imagine this was once a battlefield. Hard to steal to find land anywhere. A lot of places have been battlefields, so. Yeah, they got a good point with that. All these things have been battlefields at some point. Just that so much time has passed, nature has just healed itself, and you know, it's like nothing ever happened. Sometimes there are a great evidence of certain things that's happened, but you know. Is anything up here? I see a lot of ruins and stuff over here, but I don't really see much else. Okay. Yeah, I don't really see much else. I see a lot of other stuff, but I don't see that much of anything else right now. Over here, at least. All right, let's get back to looking for that shed the old dude was talking about, bro. No need to go all the way over there. I mean, it's probably just more monsters and stuff over there. Who said something about a shed or something like that that was over here? Am I getting closer to the abandoned docks? I am. Okay, because I followed the path. All right, I see. Because I followed the path straight there. I see. I see. Well, it works for me. Not like I was really intentionally headed that way, but you know, it works for me. I was trying to see if there was like any other old shit or something like the old man was talking about, but I ain't see it though. He must be he must have been talking about the same place the farm was talking about. Hmm, this ain't spooky at all. Let's take a look around first, guys. Let's go over here, let's take a look. Have we ever been over this way? We have same place where the, all the other stuff was at. Why is it so dark but down here though? Maybe because of all the trees, or maybe it's daytime is starting to go away. Hey, actually, I've been collecting a lot of materials, so let's see what else can I make. I can make a lot of stuff. Oh, I can make a lot of stuff now. 
No worse than me. Look at this. Hey. That's great. I'm glad I was able to make that. I get XP for every time I create something from the strat, so. Works for me. Wait, what level is we at right now? Level 17? Alright. Oh, do we all level up the same way, or is everybody leveling up, like, kind of differently? If that's the case, I probably should keep a close eye on everyone. Okay, everybody seems to be leveling up around the same. Alright, let's go to the docks. As much as I love to continue to explore the way out there, it's like, at this point, there's no real strong need for me to do so. See the music changes now. What are those? Yeah, it seems like there's a lot to see over that way. It's like a giant swamp. But very closely connected to that, so sometimes maybe I shouldn't go over that way. Not now. Is anything in this water? Can we go in the water? Oh, we can't cross the swamp without a shock of okay. Alright. Trying to keep me a limit to what I can do, eh? Since we're already at the docks, there's no more wasting time. Actually, there was actually something I need to get though. I saw something kind of interesting over here a while ago. Kind of ignored it at first, yeah. What is in here? A sleek saber? What's that? I have my buster sword, what about I need a sleep? Lunge the enemy with a pristine to try to attack his multiple times and he flees, uh, creases into a stagger. Ooh, okay. Exploits the enemy's weakness. Imbue your sword with fire and lightning with slice no foe. Interesting. Does it change how it looks on my back or? It does. Hey. I mean, I don't get me wrong, guys. I love the Buster Sword, but come on, guys. Can you blame me? Can you really blame me? I mean, what do we have? Axe, assist, and fire. Oh, uh, well, it looks like I ain't really got no material that I can really just up and equip. Oh, I really didn't see Punisher. Oh, the Chocobo and Mugu <laughs> materia, Ifri. Bro, every time I see Ifri now, I always think about the Ifri though from Final Fantasy 16, honestly. I play so much 13, and I only think about the Shiba from 13. <laughs> uh, wait, what is the materia that I got from, uh, what was it? I had got a materia in the beginning. Was it supposed to be one of these two? Oh, they got it. But oh, where's the material that I had got earlier? Hold on, where's that at? I said I had got it, but where is it, though? Oh, that was just something I got. The alignment damage. And how did they automatically get it? Oh, maybe I can't equip that material I got that, 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 well, that I got yet. Let's check the system real fast. There we go. Yeah, I was looking for this. The summoning material, Leviathan, Ramu. That's that Ramu. Uh, Ru uh, is it Ramu? Yeah, I think it's Ramu. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that was those with the uh, Final Fantasy. Ah, dang, I forgot about it, yo, Yuffie. I forgot about her, yo. She went on like a little adventure too. Like she left Midgard after all that went down. Oh snap. Hold on, I'm about to get a mysterious jump to summer Ramu though. Like I'm not gonna add that equipment. Y'all tripping. Let's 
So everybody has their own little summoning. Or maybe not. I thought they did. Unflinching overcharge. Does he not, did he not have that? Oh, okay. I get here on Leviathan. Air had one. Red had a one. Tifa didn't have one. Tifa, why do you not have one? Why are you missing certain material too? Master oh martial arts mastery. I'm not noticing that, that everybody doesn't have their what you call it equipped. Uh Mogul Trio oh, their material. And give her that. Yeah, I'm not noticing that. You need it too. Well, I'm looking into this now. Increased counter speed and potency restores HP activating vengeance mode. Error if you need it too. Wind damage up. Alright, well, now that everybody has their what you call it equipped, it's a good thing. Well, I looked into that to now. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Also, excuse me for earlier. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juna. Sure. Why not? You trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. <sighs> this swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can wrench a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> well, can we rent some birds? Can we? Fine. <laughs> How convenient that a chocobo ranch is right up, right up in here. It's almost as if they predicted that people will come here and have no choice but to rent a chocobo, huh? Well, I say that's great. That's good marketing if you ask me, but you know, that's abandoned old freaking dog. Even no boats that work there. Obviously, you have no choice but to get a chocobo. Uh, hey, I gotta try out my new sword. No, my controller cannot be on dead right now. This happens every time I take. Like, y'all be thinking I don't draw my controller, but I really do, bro. And I get up and I take it off the controller and then sometimes I leave my PS5 running for a long time and then it's just like, it just be dead, so. We are done. After I get my controller and put it charged first. You know something I should do? I honestly should just get another one. I should get another one and use it and just swap it out do it like that. Right now I'm only using one controller. Well, actually I had to, but. The other one as well. It's cooked. <laughs> it's cooked, guys. This is foot like that. It's cooked. It was uh, it was my own fault. I missed up my original controller that came with the system. But I was always gonna get another one anyway. I never trust the controllers that come with the system. They always malfunction in some some way or fashion. And but that was my fault though. Honestly, uh, I actually did that to that controller. Messed it up. So can't really blame that on them. I see more people to fight. Let's go fight. No. 
don't need fighting mad now. Nothing to it. No need fighting me now. Alright. Let's go to check out this whole chocobo thing, bro. Selling. They better be cheap too. Man, I mean no expensive chocobo, so we're gonna have a real, real problem, bro. Another place to rest? I'll use Wolf for now. Alright. Was Loveless? That sounds familiar. Hey, no! I just thought of. Hey, ain't that. Um. Oh, bro, why, bro? Why does that seem familiar, bro? I should know this, bro. Ain't that not Genesis favorite play, Loveless? Yeah, bro. I know I want tripping, bro. I know I'm tripping. I saw that John, bro. Air. Yeah, bro. That's Genesis' literal favorite play, bro. That man quote that thing word for word, bro. Oh, that was. Oh, okay. Oh, y'all just chilling, huh? I got a new sword now, though. All right, seriously, where's the chocobo uh, thing at? I'm guessing it's up this way. I'm guessing. It's weird that uh, over here, though, I got this all little unexplored area over here. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's over here. Okay, I see. You hit me with a rock. Where are you are no way me. Yeah, I think we got the idea. Is it this, up this way, right? Yeah, it's up this way. I've been down this way before. I can see that all this little part here is clear. I don't even going off path so badly though. Bill Chocobo. Okay, that was damn, bro. He's living good out here, man. But nah, I might need to get into the Chocobo business. You really got this thing set up, bro. And they get all these materials though. Hold on, let me take care of these goblins real fast and then I'll come back, bro. Oh, orcs, such a goblins. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, I can do the fire blow blade. Nah, I ain't gonna do all that though. No escape. Now. I used this spell one time and bro it was cooked. <laughs> literally, literally, bro. Cooked, bro. Alright, let's go here to see if we can get ourselves to some chocobos. Pleasure to see you all again. And welcome to my humble ranch. 
Manage to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though, chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need point to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. What you got for me? Hmm? There's something I can help you with? Ah, uh, that'd be the serpent that lives in the swamp. Longer than a river, quieter than a whisper, and quicker than a lightning bolt. Cause the water to so much as ripple, it'll come barreling after you, gaping maw and all. Ooh, gives me chills just thinking about it. Lucky for you, most chocobos can outrun the devil. Though I'm sure you already knew that. Any man of the road would have heard the tales. And judging by that sword, you've been the subject of a few yourself. Of course you have. If there's one thing I know sides chocobos, it's how to spot a seasoned frontiersman. You might could talk to Billy over in the stables. He'll be happy to tell you all you need to know. Alright. Appreciate it, my boy. I'm gonna go check out Billy. But y'all not like related by chance, right? Your name's Bill, his name's Billy. Is that like a coincidence there? Maybe not. Okay. I'll take it. I'll assume so though, but maybe not. Oh snap, since I'm here and everything. Oh, I got some money too, bro. I got that money. Mm, bought me a cushion that was on sale. These things are so cheap. It's not like it's not like I'm buying them at all. Like, well, next time, buy some more watch collars, though. Uh, accessories and material too. You yeah, have steel material. Oh, well, look at that. Who's missing one? Somebody's missing a material. Like, do we? Yeah, we do. Use wind magic values. Spin the XP effect chain attack. Learn to build a stream of wind material spells. Well, one, I don't have wind material equipped, so. Barrett is next. Arif. Opens up new possibilities. Gives HP up.
Tifa. It was uh, martial arts, right? Let me get that. Now that that's all taken care of, should we rest up real fast? HP and MP fully restored. It's great. Alright, let's go talk to Billy. But, let's get materials and stuff out while we at it. Well, let me get these. I ain't, okay, and you have a little chest back here too. What is that? I ain't paying attention to it until I start reading it and now I'm seeing that it's actually something that may be worthwhile. A metal bracer, that's for like magic defense. Increases speed. Uh oh. A glimmering chocobo feather guild for, uh, okay. Ah, uh, sure. Oops, I still might have broke something in. Where's the chocolate ball farm? It's over here, right? But where am I supposed to go? Oh, in here. All right, anything in here? All right. Chocobos across the swamp. Now I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops, got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list for a price, of course. Which is ten grand each. <gasps> We don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle him no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. So find a wild chocobo. Yeah, he call that boy Cloud Pops. Saying that boy old. Oh, right, I talked to Chloe. All right, let me get some items first, and then I talk to Chloe. What do you got in here? Must be a nice weapon. A timeless rod. Uh, who? I guess that'd be fit for Aerith, right? She's in a gar stick. Arcane one, and this is a Chrono one. Oh, okay, cool. That should that would be pretty useful, actually. Hmm. 
Now that we got that, we need to talk. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but... Yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Wall. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they get help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye... Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. A range tag shot will have a chocobo gear for the sale, which can only be traded for golden plumes, which are rare feathers that can be attained when wrangling new chocobos or repairing chocobo stops. I don't think I have anything like that. Oh, well, I mean, you can find all this stuff in the grasslands, though. No offense, but why would I buy this stuff? I can just easily. I mean, this is like the buy, right? Yeah. I mean, there's no real point in buying this stuff. It's like. Yeah. I mean, I don't see a strong point. I can just find the grasslands. Alright, it's no problem. I mean, is, is there some, something else you was going to tell us about, son? Uh, I thought you were going to tell us something. Well, I appreciate that. I'm just now seeing these stairs, though. You got anything up here? I well, don't mind if I do. A Moogle medal. <laughs> Alright, Billy. Need something? Oh, yeah. That should just be very convenient to me. for fresh tracks. Once you spot them, birds are rarely more than a stone's throw away. Birds in the wild are much more skittish than kept ones. Gonna have to be real quiet on the approach, else they'll bolt. Gear serves all sorts of purposes, from the cosmetic to the practical. Can even improve a race bird's performance. Won't cost you a gill. Golden plumes only. Good luck wrangling Pico. Place here to get a chocobo, but we gotta go find a wild chocobo, so. Yeah, with all that being the case. Ooh, hold on, let me get all this stuff in first. Yeah, let me get all that. Let me get all that. Let me get all that. Get all that. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, gang. We got some things to take care of. Pico? Let's try looking for some tracks. Wait, was it Pico or Biko? I was like, you got to like find tracks, right? I mean, how are we supposed to do that though? I don't really know where bro went, so how are we supposed to find tracks? Yeah, but these are tire tracks that we're looking at here, so.
and Biko. Oh, that sucks. I thought it was going to actually show me on the map, but I guess not. I really do have to go look for Pico or Pico. I can't even remember the name. He said Pico, right? Pico. I have no idea where he's at, though. Hey, give me some hints or something, bro. I see nothing in the world that's going to lead me to, bro. Hold up. something yeah how do you find I forgot start by looking for fresh tracks once you spot them birds are rarely more than a stone's throw away birds in the wild are much more skittish than kept ones gonna have to be real quiet on the approach else they'll bolt good luck wrangling Pico oh uh, it's Pico all right all right, all right. All right. How can I help you today? Uh, can I buy any gear? No, nope, because I ain't got the one count. Never mind. We hope to serve you again. All right, let's go, guys. I guess we just got to wing this until we look around until we find Pico. Who knows how long that's gonna take, though? I have no idea where exactly Bro is at, honestly. I suppose I should look into an area where, like, over here, and we ain't really like explored yet. I don't even see any tracks over here. Well, I hope you guys say something. <laughs> I hope my team says something when I'm getting close enough because if I don't see them saying nothing. It's like, yeah. All right, guys, let's go find Pico. Even though I have no idea where to look or first place to look to find Pico, to be honest. What's the other thing I'm seeing? Oh, okay, I see. And then I see Bill's Ranch. Yeah, where would Pico even be at? Going this way, would that leave me to Pico? Tracing tracks. Let's just follow this and see like if this is gonna leave me to Pico or not. Bingo. Oh, okay. Yeah! Come on, y'all, let's go bag us a chocobo. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Hey, you know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. And pros Pico if I being noticed. If you're in danger of being spotted by him, oh, on his pack mates, first other quickly roll out of sight. You <laughs> can also distract the chocolate by throwing stones to pick up. <laughs> this is hilarious. No, don't run, guys. Uh, that's not gonna be as easy as I thought. That's not gonna be as easy as I thought. Oh, well, that's one way to do it, but what about just doing it like this? You just take it nice and easy. It'll be like we're not even here. Just nice and easy. See, we keep moving at this rate. Pico won't even know we're here. You know? We got past the first one. Now the problem is you. Keep it nice. Why do I have a different? Oh, okay, I remember. All right, I remember. Oh, but that's why I had a different stone on my back. But I know. I don't know when that bird's gonna turn around though. Well, 
long as his back turned. And why is he turning around more frequently? I don't know why. No. <laughs> ah, brother. All right, let's do this again. Oh, okay. That's nice. Put me over here. Okay. All right. Oh, he's taking a nap. Okay. That's great. Uh -oh. You didn't see nothing. Let's go about your day. Here's the big problem. You seem like a very sensitive type. I don't know exactly how we're supposed to catch you. A rock? Oh yeah, I need that. Let me get that. Yeah. You can't run now. Don't run now, buddy. Good bird. Hey, Pico. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, to be honest, when did the bird came back eventually anyway because he was hungry, so technically this was kind of not needed in its own way, but hey. Let's head back to the range, ladies and gentlemen. Man, that bird's ass. See, bro ran back already, bro. He ran back super quick. Ah, oh, there's our guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him nice. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that. So why don't you wait outside? But I got this. But I got the trap be going on a bit. Dun, dun, dun. I'm just now listening to it now, like I'm going crazy with the music. All right, the soundtrack heat now. So far, you know what else more heat? They might got some more heat for me. I really can't thank you enough for bringing back to us. That's no problem. And I don't have any money, so sorry. Actually, let's just keep going, guys. Actually, I need to talk to Bill anyway. Who said that? Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? I 
I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. Okay, sure. You guys taking long or you guys are just gonna chill? You guys gonna chill? Alright. Just give me a second. I remember this guy though. This guy's the one who gave him the material and stuff like that. You go to this guy, you go fight people like Shiva and um Ifrit and then uh, Ramu and you get them as material summonings. Even though I technically already have one on deck, but you know, he could provide me with more in the future, so. Funny to see this guy out and about. Wait, he was an android though? I didn't know he was an android. Just thought about that. I, and I know he's an android. Oh, did he say that before? I don't know, I can't remember. Maybe I should have had to say no, <laughs> so I could get a refresher. I ain't lie. If I could have used that good refresher. locations of fiends and natural resources. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. World Intel, not a bad name. Chan Chadley will employ data and collect them new material, create new combat simulations, and embark on other scientific endeavors. I had to be a renowal. Wait, was that a, I said, is that renowal? No, I said renowal. Right. How do you even hell you say the rim rim wave? Remna wave? I think it's called Remna wave. Towers you can encounter and help Chadley deepen your understanding of this world. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? 
These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan for all manner of signals, which in turn reveal myriad locations of interest, such as long forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real-world location. That's the combat simulator. Or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons, once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. In fact, after poring over stories from the grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one, the towering colossus known as Titan. Engage him at your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Which particular task would you like to learn about? Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me, that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Ah, yes, I was hoping you would ask. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto Relics. <laughs> A rather endearing name, if I may say so. At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Well, well, what do we have here? Fire and ice materia. Autocast materia. Morph materia? What is that there? It allows you to turn enemies into items, really? Enemies whose health is falling below, so if you defeat in such a fashion. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. <laughs> Such kind of death though. Auto unique ability material. I was say I like to make you use unique ability when I actively control T4 use or umbrella strain when I actively control if this material is being quote. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. I think for right now, the auto unique material is going to be pretty good. And I can get another one? Or oh, that was just tired to spend 20 on that, huh? Hmm. What else I want to get? Should I get a morph one? The morph one seems like that. That'd be pretty good. Let's just turn the music to uh, uh, turn them into um, items. Yeah, that could be. That can actually be something worthwhile. Oh, the fire and ice material. I should actually get this. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. 
All right, bro. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Glad to have you around once again. Assessing and defeating new fiends will provide Chadley with new data he needs to update and simulate challenges. Complete challenges to earn a variety of rewards, such as Sunny Materia Speed, which had to lead to access to simulator. Summon Entity Titan. <laughs>